Hello, happy Saturday. Actually, guys, it is late, but I was supposed to make a video <clears throat> yesterday, and I got so busy with everything else. Uh, I am introducing another, I don't know, segment into my vlogging on Fridays. Um, I want it, well, I named it Trash Talking Fridays, and what I will be doing is just revisiting the celebrity gossip and celebrity news of the week. So, I mean, I'm sure I might not hit everything because <clears throat> I really don't want to make this uh, say segment very long because normally I typically, my videos typically run like maybe 30 minutes. So, <clears throat> with my trash talking, uh, I'm just going to hit, you know, some of the, uh, like I said, some of the gossip and news of the week so tonight i'm going to start off with tamar braxton love tamar braxton um a voice <laughs> she got a voice do you hear me she have a outstanding voice anywho she said that someone broke into her home and stole her safe and that um she know who it is and she's going to let God deal with them. Uh, so, hmm. I don't know how I feel about that because if I know that you broke into my home, oh, yeah, I'm calling the cops. I I'm calling the cops. And, guys, have you noticed? I think she lives in Calabasas, but uh, I remember last week or the week before, one of the other, uh, I think it was Bev Beverly Hills Housewives, uh, Dorit, her home was was bro broken into, and she was. I now I actually saw her talking, and so she was telling uh, the person who was interviewing her that she heard the guy said, "Go ahead and shoot her already." Like, go ahead and shoot her already. You know what I'm saying? Like that is that has to be heartbreaking and devastating because I know she have two boys, um, so I'm sure her mind was on you know. Uh, if the boys were in the home or if they come home and find her like that or whatever, but God spurred her life and, you know, they just took the stuff and left, but she actually had footage. So unlike Tamar Braxton, I'm sure when she found out or the cops found out, whoever found out who did it, she's pressing charges and I would too. Okay. So, uh, I review 911. So Rockman Dunbar left the show because he did not want to take the, the vaccine. Um, it's against his religious beliefs. And um, so he exit, exited the show. He played Michael, um, Athena's husband. So he would no longer be on the show. And I need to look up and see if Chimney is gone too. And what about um, Jennifer? What is her name? Jennifer... Love Hewitt because she left three, four, maybe four or five seasons. I mean, four or five episodes ago. So I don't know. And, and you know, I've seen little bits and pieces of people saying what she put on her Instagram, and I still haven't yet went to go find her Instagram to read it. But maybe I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. Okay. So I have been hearing about. Uh, Zach Stacy, you know, he beat up his girlfriend. And, um, so this morning I actually ran across the video. I don't know what it was, who posted it, but, um, in the video, um, he clearly attacks her and he grab her and well, he punches her first, and then he grab her and throw her into the TV. The TV fall, and then uh, he's asking her, you think that's all right? You think that's all right? And I think it was said down in the article that she was cheat that he caught her cheating with his friend or teammate, allegedly. So, um... Um, I, I think he got arrested. I think the, the police, you know, did find him. The cops did find him. And I'm sure she's 
pressing charges or whatever. But he, because he's a big guy. I mean, he took her and threw her like she was a piece of paper into the TV. I'm like, bro, <laughs> I'm sure that TV costs some money. <clears throat> My throat is dry, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so we're moving on because, like I said, I really don't want to make this long. And I did have so much I wanted to talk about. But I don't want, I, I want my trash talking Friday or trash talking Saturday to not be so long. Okay, so the next uh, celebrity news I want to talk about Faith Evans, Stephen J. So, again, <laughs> I watched the video, and actually, I watched the video. Before I came online. So, before I came on the camera. So, okay. So, apparently, Stevie J thinks Faith is cheating. And, you know, he was like, all I did was love you. You know, you know Stevie J. You know the worm. All I did was love you, you know. And, and he's recording it or whatever, you know. I'm like, oh, are you trying to get y'all to show? Or, you know, because who records that? Because, dude, you, you know, you looking stupid. Like, if she cheated on you, why would you actually be feminist? Like, I mean, is that your way of dealing with the hurt that she cheated on you? And, and like, you know, she didn't want no parts of it. And, you know, and it could be, one of the reasons could be, hey, um, I don't want to discuss whatever this is we, we're, we're going through. I don't want to discuss it on camera. You know, this is a private moment. If you're saying I'm cheating, I want to deal with it in private. Like, you know, give me that opportunity. So... It could be she don't want to put her business out because he filmed it. And, I mean, he was recording, and evidently he had to send it to the to, to the blogs because they they have it. Like, I think Media Takeout, or, yeah, I think it's Media Takeout actually have it. And I watched it. It's like two minutes. And I'm like, um, well, you know, y'all might probably should have cleaned up that room before he sent, you know. <laughs> But I guess maybe this was his true life. And he was like, hey, we had dirty clothes on the floor. It was wash day, uh, Sean. So overlook those clothes because right now I'm trying to uh, talk to her about cheating. You know? <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> Let me take a sip of this drink. And so, because they, I mean, what got me is they were supposed to be such good friends. I, you know what? Maybe they were always attracted to each other, but he was with whoever, she was with whoever, Carl Thomas or whoever she was with, I don't know. And was it Carl Thomas? I don't know. Maybe, you know, they were always with somebody else, so they never had the opportunity. You know how it is, guys. Like, you're attracted to it's life. Sometimes you are attracted to people who are in relationship with someone else. That's not saying I'm trying to break up their relationship. I'm just, you know, he's attracted to, uh, you know, it's something about him that that's, that, that's attracting me. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to break up a happy home. I'm not even trying to break up a happy home. Or it could be him. He could be like, she's, you know, she's super duper sexy. She's whatever. However, I'm committed to my wife. I'm just saying you, you can be attracted to someone and not cross the line. Okay. So I think they were always, you know, it could go that way, you know, but maybe I'm, I'm with someone, you with someone, but if we ever are single at the same time, we should probably give it a go. And so I think they did. And then all of a sudden they got married. And now, what is it? Two years later, three years later, might be four years later. Cause I didn't keep up with it, but yeah, here it is years later, they are having issues and he is accusing her of cheating. Hmm. I think Mimi accused him of cheating. Hmm. I think Jocelyn accused him of cheating. So, what is it, Stevie? Hmm. The shoe is on the other foot now, huh? Hmm. Okay. Shoe is on the other foot. It ain't so great when the rabbit got the gun, huh? It ain't so great when the rabbit got the gun. Okay. So, I'm just going to end it with this one. Because I wrote down quite a few things, but I'm going to end it on this note. So, Portia Williams is giving an interview, well, gave an interview to People Magazine. And she said that when R. Kelly was married to Andrea Kelly, that she was his side piece. <laughs> Portia has a book coming out, uh, Pursuit, 
Pursuit of Portia, November the 30th. <clears throat> I'm sorry, girl, guys, my, my sinuses and allergies is just draining. Um... So she has a book out called Pursuit of Portia coming out November the 30th. And in this book, she states that she was trying to further her singing career or thought she could. So she, at, at the time, in 2007, she was like 25. So uh, first of all, oh, she said she went. She thought she was going to go to and meet him at the studio, but they took her to his home. And then they led her into a room, and she sat there for hours while he did whatever he did. And then he came into the room and told her to pull her clothes off. At 25, you had, the, you had, you were in the right, excuse me, right state of mind, and of age to say no. Okay, you you were 25 years old. You were not 16, 14, 12. You were 25. At the, at 25, you cannot tell me you cannot make a decision for yourself and tell this grown man no. So she said she uh, what did she say? Um, she felt pressured into to the relationship. Girl, you said I'll let to sell that book because first of all, at 25, you can you can you can miss me entirely with it. At 25 years old, unless you were slow, retarded, deaf or dumb, you could have easily. Matter of fact, when he said pull his club, matter of fact, why you sitting there hour after hour after hour, and this Negro have not came into the room, you could have easily grabbed your bag and said, you know what, take me home. Yes, take me home. I mean, I understand he's R. Kelly and all, but, you know, my time is valuable, too. So, therefore, um, I'm going home. And at 25, come on, please, come on, people. At 25, you have a decision. You are in your right frame of mind. At 25, you know when to... You, if a person come up to me and say, pull your clothes off... I make the executive decision at that moment at 25 to say, no, I'm not here for that. I am here, Robert, to let you hear me sing so you can tell me or you can show me or maneuver my singing career or whatever you want to do, but I am not pulling off my clothes. And, and, and that would have been it. What are you going to do? Tell him to escort you out? Okay. Escort me out. But I'm not going to give you what belongs to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I'm, I don't have to give you me to further up my career. You know, people do that all the time. They sell themselves out. And then you, then, you know, you want to get mad and, and act like you're the victim. No, sweetie. At 25, and he said, pull his clothes off. There was an executive decision you made to pull your clothes off. And there was an executive decision you made to sleep with him. And however many times after that, that you slept with him, there was an executive decision you made, sweetheart. No, 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 ladybug. You can't blame him for that. The only thing I, I you know, I say people can blame R. Kelly for is those... Teenagers, because you know, you know, their minds are not um, fully functioning. You know, uh, the hormones raging or whatever. These little girls always oh, are Kelly, whatever, whatever, however, whatever. But these grown women that saying he held them captive and he this girl, you could have left. I'm sure you could have left. Now come on now. You could you could have left, but a lot of these people stayed because they wanted the money, they wanted the fame, they wanted to be with a celebrity, and that's the cost that you were paying. I am no way defending anything he done. Not not in any way. I'm just saying. And some of these parents knew what was going on, but the money was far much greater. Then your child. Point blank period. Because I know if an old man was trying to date my child, my daughter, baby, I'm going to break my fingernails trying to press charges and call 911, call the cops on him. I'm, that's just, I'm not going to get into that because I said I didn't want to make this video long. 
Okay, like I said, Portia was 25. Now, all of a sudden, all of this is coming out because she got a book called Pursuit of, Portia, Pursuit of Portia. And she's telling her encounter with R. Kelly. Baby, at 25, when you drop them draws, you drop them because you wanted to. End of story. End of story. There is no need to take a pen. You know how we do when we got a pencil, people take a pencil. And keep writing. There ain't no need to keep doing that. There is no need to do that. Because you were 25 and in your right mind. And unless you were slow, retarded, deaf, dumb, or crazy, you had the right to say no. I'm here. I'm here. I am here, Mr. Kelly, Mr. Robert, Robert, or Sylvester, hi, whatever you want to call him, you, I am here, sir, right? I am here because I need you to guide my singing career. I need you to work with me on this area up here, not down here, but up here, okay? And the minute he act like he wasn't interested or whatever, guess what you do? Grab your purse, your Gucci, your gotcha, because, you know, she went on then. <laughs> Grab your Gucci, your gotcha, your, uh, you know, your Kasachi. Your, um, uh, what per, per, you know, whatever. Your Herberry, your Herlary, because it's, you know, what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Your off-brand bag and jet. And jet. Because you didn't say in the book no one held you hostage. You didn't say that you was there against your will. You didn't say any of that. So at 25, ma'am, no ma'am, 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 no ma'am, no ma'am, no ham, no Sam, no Pam, no, no Cam. At 25, you made an executive decision to do it, to sleep with him. At 25. Now, if you came up in there and you said you were 14, 15, and whatever, and, oh, because he or Kelly, I, you know, you got to give a 14, 15-year-old pass because the hormones raging or whatever. You know, yeah, they know right from wrong, but it's a superstar. Anywho, I'm going to end it right there, and I will see you guys next Friday or Saturday. It just depends. But tonight, this was my first episode of Trash Talking. Um, if any news, if anything pop up in the news that you want me to know about, go ahead and leave it, you know, send me a comment. You can leave it on the, you can leave it in this video in the comments and I'll go back and revisit. Thank you guys for all your love, for all your likes, all your subscribing. Thank you guys for all the comments, uh, the positive comments. Thank you guys for watching my channel. I started out, um... With 38 subs, I now have almost 600. So, I am almost at that 1K. And I need you guys to like, like, like. I need you to hit that subscribe button. I need you to, you know, comment on, on my uh, videos. I need you to share my channel. Tell your mama, your daddy, your grandmama, your, your, your grandpapa, everybody. Tell everybody about Sean's journey through life. Because we talk about everything. You know, we have chats. We have mug bangs. We have challenges. I, I do. I review shows. I mean, I do a lot on this channel. So, I don't just cater to the babies. I cater to, because I'm 49. So, you know, in my age range and higher and, you know, older, I cater to us all. So, uh, over here, this is a big pot of gumbo. Everything is in it. You know, everything is in it. And everybody's welcome. I just ask that we all be respectful. I just ask that, um, you know, in the comments, you be respectful. You know, if you don't like the video, you're more than welcome to thumbs down. I just ask that you don't leave anything negative in my comments. Um, I want to, I just want to be respectful. I want, you know, I'm going to be respectful to you all, and I want you all to be respectful to me. I ask you continue to watch out for my new uploads, my new content. And I just ask if there's anything you need of me to reach out to me and let, you know, shoot me an inbox message and let me know. I, I, to, again, this was my first episode of Trash Talk and I will see you in my next video, Sean's Journey Out.